Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content tonight is going to bring a smile to your face, I almost guarantee it, because Dan Crenshaw, Republican from Texas, takes Dana Bash on CNN to town on her gun control propaganda push on live TV. You're going to want to watch all three of these, and please send this out, because this third clip I'm about to show you is magical, and that's where Dana gets bashed. If you get it. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one. And if you are new or you're a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and making sure you turn that notification bell on. We need as many of you as possible to get into the fold with us, to be counted amongst friends and family, take the information, and pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation, because that is the mission of this channel. Thank you so much in advance for your consideration, and tonight's content is brought to you by Lear Capital. Last year was terrible for most investors, and 2023 could be shaping up to be even worse, with a recession potentially brewing on the horizon. But what an impressive year for gold investors. It not only protected them from loss while other investments fell, some experts are saying it could be up to $4,000 an ounce or 100% on your money. This is something that could be tremendously impactful for each one of you. There are a lot of gold companies to choose from. I do business with Lear Capital because I trust them and you can too. With over 25 years of experience, thousands of five-star reviews, and a 24-hour risk-free purchase guarantee, Lear Capital is my choice when buying gold and silver. I love gold and silver and believe it is the safe haven asset to protect your savings in retirement against inflation and recession. If you're interested in investing in gold, I suggest you call my friends at Lear Capital. Go to LearLangley.com or call 800-330-4630 and get your free gold and silver investor guides and receive up to $15,000 in bonus medals for qualified purchases. Again, that was LearLangley.com and there's a number on the screen if you are interested. Thank you so much to Lear Capital for making this possible. Again, everything is linked in the description box. But my brothers and sisters, we have got to get into this because Dana Bash gets bashed on this one and it's... It's almost embarrassing, bad, embarrassingly bad. Three clips. These three you're going to love. Let's start with the first one, and then we will break it down. You're a member of the new House Republican majority. Are you collectively, House Republicans, telling the American people that mass shootings, including of young children, is that just something that's going to happen and you're not going to make any moves at this point to try to stop it when it comes to the House of Representatives? Yeah, well, not at all. Look, and, and I think we do need to have a, a real conversation about what, what's happening here. What, what I have long called this is a sort of social contagion that's occurred ever since Columbine. This never happened before Columbine. But then Columbine happened, and, and it was very famous, and it, and it sort of opened the door for very, very disturbed people, uh, whoever they might be, to go in and, and, and commit these kind of dramatic, randomized shootings. Um, as, as their outlet for their own evil and crazy. That's so the first thing I want to bring your attention to is the leading trap question that she set up. Do you notice the pattern here? You have Democrats who say, we need to take the guns. We have media who say, we need to take the guns. And when you don't take the guns, are you, are you suggesting that these things are just going to happen and we just need to live with it because it's just part of our, of our creation? N no. We're bringing forward many solutions. You're shooting down every single one about protecting people and hardening targets. But you're saying no to that. But because we say no to gun control, then we don't want anything to happen. You see the little game she's playing there. Now, Dan Crenshaw, I'll be fair. I know some of you out there are rolling your eyes. He does not have the most clean and spotless record on supporting Second Amendment rights. He's good on some things. He's not so great on some others. But in this case, he does deliver a pretty good rebuttal or holding or present presentation of a point from the conservative or the second amendment side of this conversation dana does try to trap him two more times we're about to get to those clips and he pretty much heismans the entire thing just kind of he does a pretty good job of this but this is important because it shows you like i said in that first clip ban all guns no you don't want a solution i've given you nine different solutions here we go let's get to the second one because it's not stopping anytime soon and then dan just lowers the boom boom uh, the truth of the matter is, if we had a minimum of, of two armed guards or police officers at every single school in America, you'd probably prevent these from here on out. Well, you said that's that, the truth. You said that they're random. Uh, the, the one through line in these deaths is that they are shootings. Therefore, they are done by guns and guns are the leading cause of death for children and teens in the U.S. 
So shouldn't helping save the lives of children be a top priority for you as a member of the House majority? No, it absolutely should be, which is why I say I would look to the thing that would absolutely stop this, which is putting armed police officers at every school. I, mean, I, I visit a lot of schools. I do, I do talks at various schools. It's very rare uh, that I go into a school, especially the newer ones, and they don't have some kind of armed police presence there at all times. So That's a preventive measure. That, I know, will, will stop this. And there was nothing like that in these last few mass shootings. There, there's no armed guards there. Um, so the so answer if, if I'm is just looking for guns. actual solutions, that would be it. So the answer is more guns. No, the answer is armed guards. Okay, that was the first boom. Uh, so the answer is more guns. No, the answer is armed guards. Take what you want to imply there. Now keep in mind, as we're going through, this is CNN. This is supposed to be a standard, an unbiased source. Dana Bash so far has said, are Republicans doing nothing? They're just supposed to accept it. Then she goes down the road of, well, they're the leading cause of children and teens. By the way, lie. Hard lie. We refuted it multiple times on this channel. But also, the ultimate hypocrisy and irony is this is the exact same people, the exact same person, who says that abortion should be codified because it's a healthcare decision. It's not about children. The, one of the things that I say on this channel all the time, since the inception of this channel, has been the leftist policies cannot stand together. They can only stand by themselves. For example, so you're okay with all these terrible things happening to children and teens. Abortion. Oh, every right, all everything. It's all about the woman's choice. Doctor and woman, it's a personal responsibility. It's a constitutional right. Do you see that? They put those together. Whoa, 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 we're not talking about both of them together. That's that's a big problem with the left, at least one of the things I have an issue with, is their their theories and their ideal ideology doesn't go together. But then he slams the door at the end. He's, she goes, oh, so more guns. By the way, another talking point of the left. And then he goes, no, I said armed guards. There's a difference. Armed guards have guns because guns are inanimate objects. You're putting armed guards at schools to protect those the most, most innocent among us. That's the point. But let's go to this third one because this is where he just, he just B-27s or he just B-29s. Well, the answer is armed guards, right? Armed guards, yes, more guns. The, the kind of guns that protect, protect the president, that protect you all at CNN. Is it easy to get into your headquarters at CNN? Absolutely not. There's armed guards there. Yeah. There's single points of entry. I think we should look at our schools as a place that is precious uh, and, and have the same kind of security that your corporate offices do, that we do in Congress. You know, if, if we consider a place to be important where our children go to learn every day, it should have the same level of security as every other place, whether it's, a, whether it's a shopping mall or a corporate office that's hard to get into. You're, you're, you're not going to get rid of guns. And I'm not going to say that, that, that people can no longer, that law-abiding citizens cannot defend themselves anymore and, 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 and exercise their Second Amendment rights and think that's going to stop mass violence. People will figure out other ways to commit mass violence once they've, once they've unfortunately reached that point in their life. It's, it's, it's yeah. tragic and it's sad and a lot of people, we don't understand what's happening, right. what's inside well, their there heads. Was and so we look to these other solutions that I think aren't viable. There were supposed to be armed guards at uh, the schools in both Uvalde in your home state of Texas and Parkland, and that didn't help anything. Uh, let's just move on because I know energy is a big. But they issue. weren't. But they weren't there, it, which is they, the point. Well, okay, but they're they're humans, and that also happens. Uh, Did you catch all that? So. He goes down the road of, no, they're armed guards. And just like you're protected, CNN, just like you have armed guards at your, your corporate security headquarters, yeah, everything's fine for you. But anything else is beyond the pale. So more guns. That argument isn't used protecting yourself. And then at the very end, she tries to throw in a little one-line zinger, then bounce out and says, well, they weren't guards at uh, Uvalde and there weren't guards at Parkland. Or there were guards at Uvalde and Parkland. And he goes, uh, yeah, but they weren't there. And she goes, uh, 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 well, uh, well, they're humans. And that happens. What? You just proved the entire point. If there were guards there, that would have been prevented. But since they weren't there and they're humans, which I don't know what that means. Maybe they take sick days. I got nothing. So we just should just scrap the entire plan. I hope you understand how dumb this was. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.